Right, so my name is Prem Asim and we are going to learn MongoDB projection query in this lecture. So you know, just before doing that, let me clear everything. And so we are uh, uh, using a mean hotel DB and I have uh, let us see the collections. So we have all these collections. Now I say any sample object. Now once I see the sample object, it is, so Mongo is designed in such a way which is called as pre-join. Pre-join means whatever um, document it has embedded inside it, which means that, uh, uh, so typically a MySQL or DBMS database, it would uh, scatter all the information, let's say whatever hotel related information which I am showing you right now, which is having its rating, its currency, its rooms details, and then its location, its reviews and services, everything um, in a single document. So if for a hotel website, you can get all the information upfront and it's preloaded, it's joined, it's super fast. However, if you will structure in uh, RDBMS, services will go in its own data uh, table and reviews will go sit in other data table, location will have other data table. So each information, especially rooms, will have uh, another table. So photos will have another table. So I'm just, you know, telling you that um, uh, the, there would be one table which would have basic information and for normalization, they would scatter all the information in different tables. And when they have to uh, uh, reply to a query or the request, they need to look up in all the tables and they need to join based on whatever information we are looking for. The join key could be the hotel name and then they consolidate it in, uh, in one document and then they send. So Mongo people were smart. They thought, why don't we, uh, you know, keep the consolidated document itself and on need basis we can pull it so that we don't have to uh, do seeking to n number of tables, five tables, 10 tables, each table can have thousands of records and looping over thousands of records, getting one information from six, seven tables and then aggregating them or collecting them together takes a lot of time. And user nowadays wants the response to be quick and fast. They want a sub-second response. They cannot, they don't want to wait so long. So that is why that's the sailing point of Mongo that it gives you the embedded document the required information sits inside uh, uh, one document itself and it can be pulled. This is called as pre-join. Otherwise, you might have to join the room table with the hotel table based on some key, foreign key constraint and then retrieve the record. Here, that's not the case. So you are able to see this document. But on the other side, uh, to see all these document, all the other information which you are not, which you don't need, for example, I am just interested in the rooms of these hotel or I am just interested only in the services. So what do I do? Uh, so uh, that the, there is a solution. So what we are going to do is, let's say if we are trying to do a find and we see all these clutter, all these mess, but then we say, I want to see only data which is related to this hotel so we would go there and then we would have our matcher. So this matcher is going to give us the result for this hotel. But now I just want to see the services and nothing else. This document could be so big. It is having so many useful information which I do not want to focus on right now. I just want to focus on few stuff which I am interested in. So that can be passed inside the another um, JSON object, which gives, uh, you know, which um, allows you to put the keys and then you can uh, uh, project like what information you need. Uh, so you can say you need to see as a result of this only services and you can call it true. So now it is showing only the services, which is essentially nothing. 
but an array so this guy would uh, do the projection and projection whatever condition you are putting in this bracket that would only be showed up you can always try more than one so for this particular hotel I want to see the services and the room another thing to learn over here is instead of true if you say one this is the same thing because one uh, is considered as true and zero is considered as false so you can always make it as false or zero so once you make it false which means this inside the document you don't want to see that field but then it would show you all other fields all other fields so that is how the true and false works let's go simple we have to see the services and the rooms so we can say this this guy will now fetch for a particular hotel whatever you ask for particular fields which is services and rooms now you might think that what is this underscore ID why is it showing up every time and you don't want to see that so there is uh, as I said you can suppress it by the false so we are gonna do it by underscore ID and we will make it a zero so this time when query happened you don't see that underscore ID so in next lecture we are going to learn about what underscore ID is to summarize this lecture what we learned is we learned the find query with the matcher and with the projection and projection helps us to see only the required required information or in required fields or properties of the document which we want if you have any question feel free to drop me an email